Hai Ben. Good evening Ben. Good evening Ben. Good evening, Ben. Ben, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? So, yes. Okay, so you have here in the picture what Okay, we are now eating out. Okay, so in the picture, what can you say? I see uh, a family is having dinner outside. They are having? Okay, dinner, dinner um, outside. Uh, no, it's, it's not dinner, have a meal. Okay, so they're having dinner outside. Okay. So probably they're eating rice. What is this? Just like chips, maybe. Or I know it's like rice cake. I don't know what is this. Okay. So we have here some vocabulary. We have the word, what's this? Curry. Curry. Okay. So like there is a chicken curry, beef curry. So I hear that in my country in Philippines. We have chicken curry. We have beef curry. In Vietnam, do you have the word curry? Do you have this dish? Curry. Do you have yes. this? Yes. 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 Okay. So we have the word pie. I always pie. love pie. One. Okay. And this pudding. Is one. Pudding. It's just like a cake. And this one. Okay. Risotto. Risotto. This one. In my country... We call it as like looks like a, a rice, a rice pouch, or risotto in in other places. Just like lugao. I don't know. I know what is this. But do you have like this band in your country? Do you have like this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we have the word salad. salad. Okay, and sandwich. Sandwich. Okay, so we have the word salad and we have the word sandwich. Soup. Soup. And we have the word stew. Stew. Stir fry. Stir fry. Okay, again, we have salad. Sandwich, very common. Soup. Okay. Stew. The stew and the stir fry. Okay. Stir fry. Okay. Just like they're cooking it in the, in the, at the fire and then right after they cook, they will gonna serve. See, it's very hot. Okay. So another one we have. Wow. I always love lasagna. Lasagna. Okay, so how about in Vietnam? Do you have this? This is one of my favorite pasta, lasagna. I always love, 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 love lasagna. Okay, so this one we have. Cola. Cola. Mousse. Mousse. And we have, yeah. Taco. 
taco. Okay, are you familiar with taco? Do you like to eat taco? Do you like to eat this taco? In full in I Vietnam, do you have like this? Yeah, taco is always is no. everywhere. Oh wow. Oh I'm not I'm not paella. Fond of Ella. This one. This one. Miso. Miso. Oh, it's just like a soup. Okay. In my country we have miso, but uh I don't like that much. Okay, so here now Ben kindly name match the pictures of the uh, I mean the pictures of this to the name and what dishes do you like or you don't like after you told me what dishes you like or you don't like at all okay wait Ben Lian ang bisang cellphone nga gibutangan sa kuan Oh, uh, unda ko an food bang. Kanang kape day. Uso coffee. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we have sandwich, of course, salad. Okay, pudding. Oh. And sandwich again. Oh, this is sandwich. No, I don't think that. It's pie. Oh, that's ah. Wait, wait, wait. This is a pie. This is sandwich. This is wrong. This is a pie. This is sandwich, salad, and pudding. Okay. So, do you like pie? Do you like to eat? I haven't eaten. Ah, you haven't tried. In Vietnam, there is no like this? No. Oh. Okay, so here. Which fruit food from task one is retains every dish? And match the, dish, dish, uh, the dishes A to F with the country's one to six. They come from originally. So these six places, I mean six food, where are they really come from? We try to match. So we have countries here.
Okay. Okay, where are your answers? I only know that. Find it hard? Yes, so hard. Okay, so let us have this. Okay, first, friends, we have chocolate mousse. Italy, the lasagna, or Italian love pasta. Japan, oh, miso, from the word miso. That's Japanese term, miso. Okay. Mexico, yeah, tacos. Spain, we have paella. Yeah. USA, uh, it's pala. Yeah. Oh, I really know now. So. Okay. Then, okay, can you hear me? Okay, so we have here yes. France, chocolate mousse, to mm -hmm. Italy, the lasagna, Japan is the miso soup, Mexico is the tacos, Spain is paella, and USA is the cola. Oh, the soft drinks Coca Cola is from USA. Okay, so actually we have Coca-Cola Butler's Philippines. In the Philippines, we have Coca-Cola. Okay, so here. Now this one, Ben, we are trying to have completing the sentences about special diets. Because as you can see, our topic is about food. We have the words below. Okay. không có gì Đây là classical, đây là classical, là classical. Ok. Ok. If you oh, follow wait, 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 wait. a free diet, oh, you cannot eat. Ok, you cannot eat. Wet, okay, a free gluten, gluten free diet. Muslims don't eat eggs, are you sure? Okay, Muslims don't eat eggs, are you sure? I think so because, uh, I'm are you sure, sure they don't that. eat eggs? Are you sure with that? Muslims, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, they don't eat. Pork, okay. Pork is not, okay, is not advised by Muslims people. If you're lactose tolerant, you avoid milk, yeah. 
Vegans don't eat fruit. Eggs. Because, but most vegetarians do. Vegans, it means they are the people who love to eat vegetables. Okay. Next. Is a good snack if you're following a low-fat diet. What do you think is a good snack if you are following a low-fat diet? What do you think? Okay, what do you think? Pork. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, fruit. Okay, what do you think? Okay, it is fruit. So if you think you will gonna have to do a low fat diet, you will gonna to have the fruit. You will going to have fruit. Okay, so if you will gonna have it, you will gonna have fruit. Okay, which of these foods contains the most Calories, 100 grams of, it is peanuts. Oh, if you were going to eat peanuts, you were going to have 100 grams of calorie in a peanut. You're going to have it. Okay, next one. Okay, so in listening strategy, you sometimes need to identify the context of the conversation. It means what the conversation is talking about. You have to understand, you have to determine about that. The context is implied, not stated. So you have to listen to for the clue. There are clues. The information you need may be when the conversation is taking place, where it is taking place, why the conversation is taking place, and who is speaking. Now, you have to listen to extracts and answer the questions. Okay, so we have here two extracts. Extracts one, extract two, and there are two questions for each extra. Lesson, two extracts, and answer the questions based on what you hear. Lesson 2C, exercises three and four. One. Hi, can I help you? Yes. There are a few problems with my food. For a start, I ordered seafood risotto, not seafood pasta. Oh, I'm so sorry. Shall I change it for you? There's no time now. I have to get back to work for a meeting this afternoon. But that's not all. These green beans on the side are almost raw. I think the chef forgot to cook them. And to make it worse, I had to wait nearly half an hour for them. Two. First, chop the onion and add it to your pan with some oil. You need to cook it for at least five minutes before you add the rice. Sophia, why are you adding the rice now? What did I just say? Cook the onion for five minutes. Come on, please pay attention. I want you all to finish this dish before the end of the lesson. You can even eat it if you're hungry at break time. Luke, please don't sit on the desk. You need to stand up when you're cooking. Okay. Okay. So now here you answer. Why is the man talking to the waiter? Because it's because it's, why is the man um, talking to the waiter? Because the food has problem. Okay, because the food has a problem. What time of the day is the dialogue taking place? I think it's that morning because uh, the man is going to take a meeting at afternoon. Okay. Who is speaking? Okay. 
in extract two, who is speaking? The teacher. The teacher. Where is the speaker? At the cooking class. Okay, at the cooking class or in a classroom. Okay, thank you, Ben. So here, Ben, you're going to help me which words and phrases help you to decide an answer in the class tree. Okay, so in answer in the class tree, we have here, you answer it to complain, lunchtime, a teacher in a classroom. So these are your answers. Okay, now, so here, can you please listen? So, which words and phrases try to underline that help you decide on answers in your task tree? Lesson 2C, exercises 3 and 4. 1. Hi, can I help you? Yes, there are a few problems with my food. For a start, I ordered seafood risotto, not seafood pasta. Oh, I'm so sorry. Shall I change it for you? There's no time now. I have to get back to work for a meeting this afternoon. But that's not all. These green beans on the side are almost raw. I think the chef forgot to cook them. And to make it worse, I had to wait nearly half an hour for them. Two. First, chop the onion and add it to your pan with some oil. You need to cook it for at least five minutes before you add the rice. Sophia, why are you adding the rice now? What did I just say? Cook the onion for five minutes. Come on, please pay attention. I want you all to finish this dish before the end of the lesson. You can even eat it if you're hungry at break time. Luke, please don't sit on the desk. You need to stand up when you're cooking. Okay. Okay, Ben? Done now? Ben? Done now, Ben? It's okay now? Yeah. Okay, so we have here, so these are, okay, few problems with my food, but that's not all. At least five or and make it worse. Okay, so these probably are the phrases that help you to decide what you answer in task three. Okay, so here. Now, Ben. Hi, Ben. Are you Hi. listening? Yes. Sorry. Okay. So please listen to the dialogue between two teenagers. Okay. For each question, write a correct sticker. Mateo, if you think that's Mateo, you write M. If you think that's Scarlett, you write S. Make a note of the words that help you to decide on the answers. Okay, please listen again. You write M if it's Mateo and S if it is Scarlett. Lesson 2C, Exercises 5 and 7. Hi, Scarlett. How are you? Hi, Matthew. I'm on the bus. We're just passing the park, so we'll be in the city centre in about 10 minutes. OK. I'm already here. 
but I don't mind waiting. Have you chosen somewhere for dinner? What about that new Italian place on the high street? No. My dad ate there last week. He said it was a real letdown. The food was nothing special. And the service wasn't up to standard. Okay, forget that. When you're celebrating the end of your exams, you need somewhere good. I agree. What about the French restaurant in the Palace Hotel? That's a bit special. I've heard the food is out of this world. It's really expensive. Maybe we can go there next year when I finish my exams. <laughs> OK, maybe. Look, why don't we just go to the Mexican restaurant again? I love the atmosphere there and the food is fine. There's also the Chinese restaurant. The food is pretty average, but it's cheap. Let's decide when you get here. I'm happy with the Mexican or the Chinese. You should choose. It's your celebration. OK. Let's go to the Mexican place. We can meet outside. I'm not sure where it is. Let's meet by the post office. That way I won't get lost. OK. No problem. I'll go there now and wait for you. There's no hurry. This bus isn't moving. There's lots of traffic. Don't worry. I don't mind waiting. I can send some messages. My parents bought me a new phone. Did I tell you? No. Has your number changed? Of course not. You just called me. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> what did you do with your old phone? I gave it to my brother. Oh, that's a shame. It's a nice phone, and I don't like mine very much. Sorry. I didn't think of that. Anyway, see you soon. Okay. Okay. So we have here is in the city center. Lesson 2C. Exercises 5 and 7. Okay, so we have here. Okay, this M material. Okay, 2M, it's tell Matthew. 3, it's tell, oh, it's Scarlet. 4, is it like to be late? Scarlet. Once a new phone, Scarlet. So here now. So this one, putting the phrases below into group. We have group A, group B, and group C. Okay, so here, try to put the line here to the correct group. Good, okay, or bad.
Okay. Okay. Ben. Okay. Yes. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. So here. Good. Out of this world. Let us check. So putting the phrases here to the correct group. A bit special. Good. Another out of this world. Correct. So, okay. Just okay. Fine. Okay is fine. Nothing special. It's okay. Pretty average. So, when you see good, of course, it's more than okay. When you see okay, it's just like it is average. Bad. A real let down. When you see bad, it's a real let down. Not up to standard. So when you see bad, of course, it is negative. Okay, so this one. Lesson again, you match the phrases in exercises 6 with a different restaurant mentioned. Italian, French, Mexican and Chinese. Lesson 2C. Exercises 5 and 7. Hi, Scarlett. How are you? Hi, Matthew. I'm on the bus. We're just passing the park, so we'll be in the city centre in about 10 minutes. OK. I'm already here, but I don't mind waiting. Have you chosen somewhere for dinner? What about that new Italian place on the high street? No. My dad ate there last week. He said it was a real letdown. The food was nothing special. And the service wasn't up to standard. OK, forget that. When you're celebrating the end of your exams, you need somewhere good. I agree. What about the French restaurant in the Palace Hotel? That's a bit special. I've heard the food is out of this world. It's really expensive. Maybe we can go there next year when I finish my exams. <laughs> OK, maybe. Look, why don't we just go to the Mexican restaurant again? I love the atmosphere there and the food is fine. There's also the Chinese restaurant. The food is pretty average, but it's cheap. Let's decide when you get here. I'm happy with the Mexican or the Chinese. You should choose. It's your celebration. OK. Let's go to the Mexican place. We can meet outside. I'm not sure where it is. Let's meet by the post office. That way, I won't get lost. OK. No problem. I'll go there now and wait for you. There's no hurry. This bus isn't moving. There's lots of traffic. Don't worry. I don't mind waiting. I can send some messages. My parents bought me a new phone. Did I tell you? No. Has your number changed? Of course not. You just called me. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> what did you do with your old phone? I gave it to my brother. Oh, that's a shame. It's a nice phone, and I don't like mine very much. Sorry. I didn't think of that. Anyway, see you soon. Can I listen okay. again? Okay. Okay, one more. Just Can one more. Again? Yes, yes. Lesson 2C. Exercises 5 and 7. Hi, Scarlett. How are you? Hi, Matthew. I'm on the bus. We're just passing the park, so we'll be in the city centre in about 10 minutes. OK. I'm already here, but I don't mind waiting. Have you chosen somewhere for dinner? What about that new Italian place on the high street? No. My dad ate there last week. He said it was a real letdown. The food was nothing special. And the service wasn't up to standard. OK. Forget that. 
When you're celebrating the end of your exams, you need somewhere good. I agree. What about the French restaurant in the Palace Hotel? That's a bit special. I've heard the food is out of this world. It's really expensive. Maybe we can go there next year when I finish my exams. <laughs> okay, maybe. Look, why don't we just go to the Mexican restaurant again? I love the atmosphere there, and the food is fine. There's also the Chinese restaurant. The food is pretty average, but it's cheap. Let's decide when you get here. I'm happy with the Mexican or the Chinese. You should choose. It's your celebration. Okay. Let's go to the Mexican place. We can meet outside. I'm not sure where it is. Let's meet by the post office. That way, I won't get lost. Okay, no problem. I'll go there now and wait for you. There's no hurry. This bus isn't moving. There's lots of traffic. Don't worry. I don't mind waiting. I can send some messages. Okay. My okay. parents bought me a new phone. Did no I tell you? Minute. Okay. So we have one minute. Under, I have under that.